Hey, I'd like to show you something I see about folate and the different forms. So we're going to dig into this nutrient here and try to help explain how it fits into this whole situation. So if we look at folate itself, there's a couple different forms. We've got folic acid. Here's some information that helps us see why we don't really want folic acid. There is a situation sometimes where people can feel better from folic acid because they're putting more pressure on this BH2, BH4. But um, if we're trying to reach balance and we're not on a bunch of medication, we shouldn't ever see anything like that. And that doesn't mean that we just start using folic acid without thinking about it. It just helps highlight how this stuff might work. Folinic acid is a natural form of folate that we'll find in food. This is coming into the system in like a more natural way. Uh, methylfolate is found in food, but and it's found in food more than you'll find folinic acid, but it's still much less than what we're supplementing. So it, we're offsetting this. Like we should be getting technically be getting methyls and folinic at the same time, but really a lot of us don't need as much folate as we're assuming. There are people that do need more folate than others, but it's not like it's not like what's going on with people suggesting methyls like crazy and more and more folinic acid. The reason I'm making this is to help show that I get anxiety from enough folinic acid. Other people ask why or their kids get it, and then... People are telling each other to take a bunch of methyls and then people are coming in the groups going like, why do I feel like I'm going insane or whatever? And it's like, it's the methyls. And they're like, oh, I was, I was thinking it might be that. That's the people that make it into the group and ask. There's plenty of people out there that are eating these things and not realizing that's what's causing them to feel like dookie. So this is where folate sits and this is where B12 sits. And they want to work together to make to send this homocysteine back through this MTR gene so it can pretty much be protein again and go through and become more SAMI and SAH and niacin and eventually homocysteine. So we need to see where this is sitting, and if we don't realize that, this gets thrown off. This methylation cycle is trying to run, and it's trying to recycle homocysteine back into protein, essentially. And there's two ways to do that, the MTR and the BHMT gene. BHMT needs betaine. TMG, choline, we want that through like phosphacetylcholine and glycine. And this is a big missing piece. Not many people are focusing on this and are trying to push this into overdrive. So we're already offsetting a balance in just this wheel. Now we've got this other wheel where BH2 is recycled to BH4, BH4 is recycled or used in biopterin, becomes BH2, goes back and is recycled again. So there's this outside wheel of that BH4, and then there's the inside wheel of methylation. And inside biopterin, which is, this is where we do all types of stuff. This is like pretty much where us happens. You know, as people are trying to go to sleep with melatonin because this whole machine's not running and they're not processing this stuff the right way. But BH4 is being used in the core of this and becomes BH2 and now needs to go be recycled. And if this, if we're offset in this, two wheel thing this is another imbalance so we've got we've got two pieces of the methylation cycle and then we've got this bh4 recycle out here and you know that's just to highlight how many different ways we can become imbalanced here what a lot of people are overlooking is this is where we're having a problem we're not able to generate glutathione properly because we've got mercury inhibiting our glutathione wiping out our fat metabolism we're, not, we're either not getting enough iodine or we're chugging it for some reason, and then most people aren't getting enough selenium or just are taking selenium without supporting any of this other stuff, and it's not working yet, and then they don't feel good and they stop and don't go back to it. We need a little bit of copper, but not much. We need a little bit of manganese to make sure our iron isn't being pulled through our SOD, which is a problem, and that gets into all types of issues here. What I'm getting at is we need a little bit of these nutrients to make sure that we're able to run the thing. Most of us likely don't even need an entire capsule. We just need to see if some of these nutrients are low. But when I say something like this, a lot of people are like, that's overwhelming. That's too many nutrients. I get it, but we're not going to fix this by just getting folate. I'm sorry. That's just, that's all I'm trying to highlight. This machine is, there's a lot to it and it's intense, but we're going to get there one day if we keep going. Lithium orotate is something that helps a lot of people. Molybdenum is something that helps a lot of people. As long as we don't take a whole bunch of the stuff at once, it's not, we can't really get in trouble. We have to think about if we eat a new food that we're not used to, as long as we don't just 
fill our stomach with it and do that three times a day before we realize how we feel tomorrow. We're, we don't really get in trouble. We'd have to do the same thing with these nutrients. A lot of people are, if they do try these different things, they're trying five of them at once and they don't know which one worked or which one hurt or whatever. So what I'm trying to get at is there's a different, easier way of looking at this stuff. I've got some videos together for you guys. If you dig what I have here uh, on the Pathway Map, you can go to pathwaymap.com and download this. I built it in a mind mapping software. Depending on the device that you use, the mind mapping software might have a trial or it might cost $10 or whatever. But then my save file of this, you can download for free and you can go around this. And there's oodles of information in here. There's, it's just, it's a bit overwhelming if you're new to this, but if you like to research and stuff, like this is just, you can go find pretty much anything you're looking for. Like you want to see if iodine is related to things, like I got all types of info you can click around, you can, if you buy the pro thing, you can edit it, make up your own notes and whatever you want. But um, let me know how this uh, folate, folinic acid thing works. Go check out my videos. Um, I'll guess I'll link to them somewhere in the comments or wherever I post this. Thanks for watching. Bye.